This is JC with Scorpio Wolf Tarot. Thank you for joining me again this week. This is going to be a reading for the air sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. As always, the rules could be reversed, so flip it as you may see fit. Uh, these readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear them, that is when you're meant to see and hear them. And I've gone ahead and took the liberty of pulling the cards for you so you don't have to watch me shuffle for five to ten minutes because nobody wants me wants to spend that much time just watching, you know, someone shuffle their cards and, you know, take time out of your day for just watching that part of it. So with that being said, let's get to your reading. So Libra, the energy between you and your person is the lover's card, which is just a cho it's a choice. Both you and the person you came to this reading for have a decision to make when it comes to love. Uh, both of you want to have that relationship that complements one another. You guys want to have that that all awe inspiring love relationship with between the both of you, and that's the energy that you guys are kind of portraying out there to the universe. So you you two both of you have a decision to make when it comes to love, and I kind of feel that both of you think that each other can complement each complement one another. But, you know, this card also could mean, it could also be uh, kind of like a way of saying that, you know, you, maybe it's a decision that you have to make between you and your family, you know, family, the decision to make between love and family, love and friends, you know, love and career. So there's a decision that needs to be made. So the decision needs to be made between the two of you, because I kind of feel someone is holding on to something. Uh, with the four of pentacles down here, someone is holding on to feelings. They're holding on to feelings, you know. Um, from the past. So maybe something that we happened between the both of you in the past that they're just holding on to. It's kind of like a kind of holding on to a grudge kind of say, you know, in a way. Someone's holding on to a grudge. Some it's like something happened in the past. They're holding on to those feelings or they just don't want to let have be, be uh, someone doesn't want to feel vulnerable to the situation. They don't want to like let their feelings out when they know they should because you know, the lever card being here, they sh you guys should be complimenting one another and trying to move forward in the relationship. But someone's holding on to their feelings. Someone's holding on to their emotions and not expressing the way that they need to express them. It could be you or the or your partner. Now, the energy you have towards the relationship is a ton of wands. So I kind of feel that right now, Libras, you kind of feel as a heavy burden to be in a loving relationship with anybody. So you're, you know... But the thing with the card, this card too, is that the ten of the ten of wands is is the end of a cycle. It's the ending of, you know, feeling that heavy burden. It's like if you really were to get into a loving relationship with somebody, someone could help you with those ten of wands. You don't have to carry it all on your own. And this is this, you know, it's it's getting to the end of that completion. If you if you really truly embody this lover's card, your person will take those wands off your back and help you your relationship but this is also you in the mindset that you have you are kind of carrying everything on your back i kind of feel that maybe you feel that this this relationship you've been doing most of the work and you're you're getting tired you're getting a little tired of it so like i said decisions have to be made and with the two of swords being down here you have a decision to make when it comes to love should you continue this relationship with this person that you came to this reading for, or should you look elsewhere? Because like you, like I said, your energy is that you're feeling burdened with this relationship. You're feeling a little burnt. You got, you got too much on your back, on your plate right now to even think about this relationship with this person. So a decision has to be made. Either you stay with this person and kind of have, you know, tell them, ask for help. Because this is really a card for asking for help as well. You know, you can ask for help, but you're trying to take it all yourself. So you might want to split split those wands with your person. Now, your person, I kind of feel that they they feel they're in competition. That you have other people lined up to be in, you know, to help you out, um, and not help you out, but to you have a lot of suitors vying for your attention. So they kind of maybe with you being a little turn, you know taking everything on you know not asking for help and taking everything on your own they kind of feel that they're in competition with you family career and they don't know what to do they're they're they're, they're fe feeling a little left out they're feeling that they have to compete for your attention they're not getting the attention they want from you 
Um, but the truth is, with the sword Ace of Swords, there's a big truth that needs coming out. Um, they're going to find out the aha moment. They're going to have that aha moment in the in the relationship, so like saying, maybe I need to open up. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's I, I'm the one that needs to open up to Lib- Libra and, and uh, sh- express my emotions because they don't they feel it's a burden. They feel it. They feel burdened by this relationship. But, you know, the energy between the both of you is the lover's card. So I kind of feel that, you know, if they were to have that aha moment and say, you know, Libra's not, you know, has all these tons of suitors going after her. I mean, they're they're taking this whole relationship and taking it on their backs, everything on your back. And if I can just help them a little bit to get some of that off of their back, then it's, you know, this, this lover's relationship where you compliment one another and have that happy relationship would, you know, you know, blow them into fruition. So that's all I have for you for this week, Libras. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we reached 50. Very, very proud to making that milestone of 50 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button. It it, uh, it uh, works with the YouTube algorithm and gets more, you know more views out of these readings. Uh, they're short readings, so I mean, you know, people want to look at other readings as well throughout the day and sometimes it's just not enough time to watch all those all amazing readings out there on youtube um but i try to keep it down to five to ten minutes to give you all time to do that um leave a comment if this resonated with you in any way um and uh let me know if this you know if this like resonated with you in any way let me know in the comment section below um thank you for joining me and y'all have a great week bye